Hello and welcome to the awareness program. I am Dr. Kazi Sohail and I am working as a gastroenterologist at Government Medical College, Srinagar. My motto is to create awareness and today I will be talking about something very important but often ignored that is fatty liver disease. This is one of the most common liver conditions worldwide and it can affect anyone, even those who don't drink alcohol at all. During my interaction with my patients, I come across with a lot of questions. In this video, I will try my best to answer most of them. Let's start. So, what is fatty liver? Fatty liver means too much fat has built up in the liver, usually more than 5% of the liver's weight. If this happens without significant alcohol use, we call it non-alcohol fatty liver disease. What causes fatty liver? Common causes include eating high amounts of sugar and carbohydrates like rice, potatoes, bread, lack of exercise, being overweight and having belly fat, diabetes or insulin resistance, high cholesterol or triglycerides. Even if you don't drink alcohol, your liver can become fatty due to lifestyle and metabolism. Why is it important to know about fatty liver? Because it is a silent disease. You may feel perfectly fine, but your liver could be slowly getting damaged. If untreated, it can progress to serious liver problems like liver failure and even cancer. What if it is left untreated? The liver can get inflamed, that is called a NASH, non alcoholic hepatitis. It can form scars called fibrosis. Over time, this can lead to cirrhosis, that is permanent liver damage, and eventually liver cancer in some cases. Globally, around 25 to 30 percent of people with fatty liver disease progress to inflammation and liver injury, and 10 to 20 percent of those can develop permanent liver disease over time. So, what are the stages of fatty liver? There are four major stages. One is simple fatty liver, that is fat without damage. Second is NASH, that is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, that means fat with inflammation and liver cell injury. And the third stage is fibrosis, that means scarring has started. And fourth is cirrhosis, that is severe and irreversible scarring. The earlier we can catch it, the better our chances of reversing it. Why is it becoming so common? It is mainly our lifestyle. Too much fast food and sugary drinks, not enough movement, too much stress, screen time and poor sleep. Even children and teenagers are now being diagnosed with fatty liver. That is how serious it is. What happens to our liver when we eat unhealthy? Your liver turns excess sugar and carbs into fat. If this fat keeps building up, the liver gets swollen and inflamed, leading to long-term damage. Why are excess carbohydrates bad for liver? Refined carbs like white rice, sugar, bread and snacks, they spike up insulin. This promotes fat storage in the liver. The more insulin resistant you become, the worse the fatty liver becomes. Is fatty liver only found in the obese people? No, not at all. Even lean or slim looking people can have fatty liver. This is called lean NAFLD and is more common in South Asians. Thin outside doesn't mean healthy inside. So how can we prevent fatty liver? The good news is Fatty liver is often reversible. Eat more vegetables, fruits and whole grains. Reduce sugar and processed foods. Avoid sugary drinks. Exercise 30 minutes a day. Reduce belly fat. How is it treated? There is no magic pill, but lifestyle is the best medicine. Lose 7 to 10% of your body weight. Eat a liver friendly diet. Walk cycle and do meditation. Even lean patients benefit from improving their muscle mass and reducing internal fat. 
If I am lean, should I still lose weight? Yes, especially around your waist. Weight loss helps reduce fat inside organs even if your BMI looks normal. It is about metabolic health, not about body weight. When should you see a doctor? You should consult your doctor if you have diabetes, high cholesterol or belly fat, abnormal liver function tests, family history of liver disease or unexplained fatigue or discomfort. Early detection can save your liver. What does liver function test that is LFT tell us? LFTs major liver enzymes like ALT and AST. Elevated values can signal liver inflammation. But remember, your liver can be damaged even if these numbers are normal. That's why we sometimes advise ultrasound or fibro scan. What to do if LFT is abnormal? Don't panic and don't ignore it either. Repeat the test, get an ultrasound or fibro scan done and start lifestyle changes immediately. Can fatty liver cause pain or tiredness? Not often, but yes, some people feel fatigue or discomfort on the right side of the abdomen. Can fatty liver go away on its own? Only with diet and exercise, doing nothing can make it worse. Is alcohol safe in NAFLD? Best is to avoid it completely, even if it is in small amounts. Are fruits okay? Yes, whole fruits in moderation are fine. Avoid fruit juices and excess sugary fruits. Are all fats bad? No, healthy fats like olive oil and nuts are good. Avoid fried and processed fats. Can it cause diabetes or heart disease? Yes, fatty liver increases your risk of diabetes, heart attacks and stroke. Is coffee good for fatty liver? Yes, black coffee without sugar has protective effects. Can herbal liver tonics help? Be cautious, mostly these are untested and may harm the liver. Always consult your doctor. My final words are, your liver is one of the most hardworking organs in your body and it never complains. Fatty liver is silent, but its consequences are not. Let's act early, let's protect our liver because liver health is life health. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and family and subscribe to this channel for more medical awareness videos. If you've got a question, drop it in the comments. I will try to respond. Thank you.